Like, I would never get to anything because it's in the manga. I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. They just think manga's for kids. I can't even bring it up with, without them being all like... Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitate towards other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? Okay, everyone! Huh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Though, though you do you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah! Natsuki so, uh, suddenly noticed how close she's gotten to me. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. Don't be dumb! And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? It's so weird getting this option when I know what happens in this whole story. I know what happens. The thing is though, will it really be alright if I choose Monica? Or will the game make me gravitate towards the three others? Let's just go with Monica. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Monica, you're, you're listening to the mic, right? This isn't gonna end well. End it now, alright? Cut everything, do it, please. <laughs> I like it, Joseph. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> Shit. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. I failed so hard! God damn it! <laughs> Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle protrudes? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I, I can't see. I, I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It wasn't too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, uh -huh, it's okay. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if you I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? I think I should go to... Uh, Sayori. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Yay! Dear Sunshine, the way you make you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Oh, man, I'm sorry, it's depressing reading that, because I know, like, ugh. Did you write? wait until the morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. I made eggs on toast! I meant to say eggs on toast. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki could be a little biased though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. I I'm sorry, 
I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. That took me like 10 seconds to read! It's not take me a long time. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Joseph. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over after- Okay, wait, 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 Yuri, you're telling me I took a long time to read it, but now you're telling me I glanced over it. Make up your mind! Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poems and make me go, ha, huh? well, it's not great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Ugh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly up to myself. Natsuki, you must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realise you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Joseph started showing up. Natsuki? Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! How do I say the things at the same time? If she could get her over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective... If it... If, 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 whatever the word was, I can't read it now. How did I get dragged into all of this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with will probably think more highly of me. HELP! Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I have in my mouth, so I intend to turn to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. See Yuri! Eh? Yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable! How could the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Joseph? Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I, ag I agree. <laughs> it's unfair to others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Harry wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being, she would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? Stop! Also... Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they've always were. Big and beautiful. So this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to Monica. Wait, that was me that was meant to say to you fucking idiot. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her, s her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. You cannot count on me. <laughs> you know, Joseph, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club, but I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes that too. Except you're fucking bullshit- oh, sorry, I gotta stop doing that with the mic. But you're bullshitting! Yeah, let's do this. Poem time? Yep, poem time. We're gonna, we're gonna have sing. Yeah, right? Rain cloud. Flower. Heart. Cry. Broken. Fuck, I, I clicked two in a row and I don't even know what the other one was. Strawberry. Fuck! How? Fuck! Wait, no! Stop! Stop doing this! Uh, together. Play. Summer. Fuck! Laugh? Yeah. Chocolate. Fuck. Silly. Love. Comfort. Sweet. Color. Fun. Yeah, let's go! Hi, Joseph. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No, thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, 
Sayuri nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it, the contents spill out onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it! 